now it's time to, to customize the graph. Uh, certain things I might want to keep, certain things I might want to change. Uh, one of the things I want to get rid of is this key because with there only being one thing in it, it doesn't really serve a purpose. So I'm going to select it, I'm going to press the backspace key to get rid of it. And now you can see the graph expands to make better use of the space. And also, I can see all of my headings now. To customize anything in the graph, you just need to double click on the area that you want to customize. For example, if I double click on the uh, x axis labels, then I'm able to go to the font section, change the font, even change the size of the font or the color. I can do the same with the y axis labels. I could even go to the scale and change the major unit to 100. So instead of going up in 200 each time, it now goes up in 100. It's also important when making a graph to include a good title that explains what the graph shows. So to do this, I'm going to select the title text box and I'm going to move the cursor anywhere in the middle of the box. I can delete the old title and enter the new one. The last thing that you might want to do is to change the colour of the bars. Now to do that, we first of all select the bars and we can either choose one of the styles from the chart styles list at the top under the charts options or you can click on the format button and actually change the colours to anything that you wish and you can change each bar to a different colour if you wish. Be careful though because sometimes all of the bars will be selected and by changing the colour you'll change the colour of every single bar. It's always good to double check that only one bar is selected before you change the colour.